Welcome to the Win Streaks preview and predictions of all 32 NFL teams for the upcoming 2017 season. Over the next few weeks, I will be covering all 32 teams, so please subscribe on YouTube or the podcast platform you're listening on so you don't miss an episode. My name is Corey Foister. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Corey Foister. Follow the show on social media, Twitter at WinStreakNews, Facebook.com slash TheWinStreak, TheWinStreak.com. Leave a review and subscribe on the podcast platform you're listening on. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Soaring Jets Production. If you are listening right now on YouTube, please drop us a comment. Contact us at SoaringJetsProductions at gmail.com or go to TheWinStreak.com slash contact. Join our Fantasy Football League. You can find out more information on our official website and on our Facebook page. Top 10 Super Bowl matchup we want to see is now live. And also, if this is the first time you've listened to an episode of The Win Streak, we do a weekly wrap-up show, me and my co-host Brandon Myers. So please check that out as well. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, and pretty much every podcast platform out there. Today, I am doing the 2017 Los Angeles Rams preview and prediction. This is the Rams' 80th season in the NFL, the 51st season in the greater Los Angeles area. In 2016, the Rams fired head coach Jeff Fisher, who had been head coach of the Rams since 2012, which I think anybody would agree was way too long to keep Jeff Fisher around. Jeff Fisher is not a horrible head coach, but he's not going to get you to the promised land. In 2016, the Rams moved from St. Louis to Los Angeles. Rams left after the 1994 season for St. Louis. So this is their second time back in the Los Angeles area. In 2016, the Rams made their first appearance on HBO's Hard Knock series. Rams went 4-12 and last season. Rams got off to a stunning 3-1 and start, but would go 1-11 and in their final 12 games. Rams went 1-7 and at home. Worst home record for the Rams since going 0-8 at home in 2009. Rams are on a 12-year playoff drought, third longest in the NFL. Only the Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns have a longer drought. Rams had 13 consecutive losing seasons, the longest in the NFL. The Rams are also the only team to lose to the 49ers last year, losing both games to the 49ers since the 49ers are a division opponent in the NFC West. Owner is Stan Kroenke. Uh, he's hated, not really football smart, especially in St. Louis. He's not well liked. Um, not much you could say about that. He's probably one of the worst owners in the NFL. You could make a strong case that he is actually the worst owner out of all of them. Uh, the Rams had four, had three Pro Bowlers: uh, punter Johnny Heckler, defensive tackle Aaron Donald, and left safety Jake McQuaid. Rams beat Seahawks, Jets, Bucks, and Cardinals. So they did beat some good teams outside of the Jets, but the Bucks were not a bad team. The Cardinals were had a disappointing season, but they were not technically a bad team. And the Seahawks was the most solid win they had last season. Rams finished fourth in the NFC West. First year, or third, I should say, in the NFC West. The 49ers finished fourth in the NFC West. First year for head coach Sean McVay. Rams are ranked as the number six most valuable team in the NFL, according to Forbes. Rams have won three NFL championships and the only franchise to win a championship while representing three different cities, Cleveland in 1945, Los Angeles in 1951, and St. Louis in 1999. Uh, One Super Bowl win in 1999, the greatest show on turf, led by Kurt Warner. Six conference championship, last being 2001. 15 division championships, 11 in the NFC West. Last division championship one was in 2003. Uh, so that's been a quite a long time. They're they're up there. Uh, 27 playoff appearances, last being 2004. Rams 2017 season outlook. Rams are not a playoff team, but they are not devoid of talent. Aaron Donald, Robert Robert Quinn, Michael Brockers, 
Todd Gurley, Alex Ogletree, and Tremaine Johnson are all great pieces to build a team around. The Rams need Jared Goff to take a big step forward this year. Rams are slowly getting used to life outside of the Los Angeles area after leave, leaving St. Louis. I, I believe that played a minor role in why the Rams had such an awful season last year, just because going from St. Louis to Los Angeles is a major, major change. A uh, biggest positive change for me is the Jeff Fisher era is over for the Rams. Rams always underachieved with Fisher as head coach. Hopefully Sean McVay can do what Fisher couldn't do, put together an offense capable of leading the team to victory instead of putting it on the backs of defensive players. Because let's be honest, under the Fisher era, even really before that, the Rams have not had a truly good offense since, you could really argue, the greatest show on turf back during the Kurt Warner days. Uh, biggest negative change for me, Kenny Britt was maybe the Rams' best player on offense last season. He is now in Cleveland. Britt was Goff's favorite target, 68 catches for 1,002 yards and five touchdowns. Rams' other receivers will need to step it up. This season, that also, you know, you're trying to rebuild that offense and make the offense better, and you lose your best guy. That definitely hurts, and it limits golf. You take away his best, his most favorite target. That definitely hurts. Sean McVay job is safe unless they go 1-15. and 15. I just can't see how they fire Sean McVay. I like Sean McVay. I think he was a good hire. I'm glad they went with him because this being – Los Angeles and the franchise looking for, you know, they could possibly went out and got a big name like Rex Ryan or something, but they went with a no-name guy like Sean McVay, and I think that's the, uh, you know, definitely that was a smart move to make. It's not a splashy signing, but it's going to eventually pay off. Preseason for the Los Angeles Rams, Cowboys at Raiders, Chargers at Packers. That's a pretty good preseason schedule you only have to leave California once and that's to go to Green Bay to play the Green Bay Packers now going on to 2017 regular season game by game prediction you have one primetime game at San Francisco on Thursday night football on NFL Network and we go to September worst case best case scenarios here uh, you open up the season at home September 10th against the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, worst case scenario, I say you lose this game. Unless Andrew Luck is not starting at quarterback, there's questions right now if Andrew Luck, he might miss half of the season. Apparently, I'm recording this on August 3rd, so who knows exactly what's going to happen. But if Andrew Luck is not the starting quarterback, I say Goff could beat the backup quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. So, I could possibly see, even in worst-case scenario, you beating the Colts if Andrew Luck is not behind center. Best-case scenario, you beat the Colts. September 17th, the Washington Redskins. Worst-case scenario, you lose this. I believe the Washington Redskins are a way better team than the Rams. But if in California, the Redskins have to travel to the West Coast. So best-case scenario, I can actually see you upsetting the Washington Redskins at 49ers. Worst case scenario, you could possibly lose the game. You're the only team to lose twice to the 49ers last season, uh, given on their only two wins. Uh, but best case, you should beat the San Francisco 49ers. So worst case scenario, 0-3. Best case scenario, you can get off to another 3-0 and start. October, October 1st, you have at Dallas, worst case, best case, you're definitely losing that game. October 8th, home against the Seattle Seahawks. I know Seattle is better in Seattle, but I still don't see best case, worst case. I think you lose against the Seattle Seahawks. October 15th, at Jaguars. I'm not big on the Jacksonville Jaguars this year. I know some people are still on the hype train every year. It's like, oh, this is the year for the Jaguars. I'm still not buying it. So worst case, best case, I say you beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. October 22nd, Cardinals. Uh, I say 
best case, worst case, you lose the Cardinals. I think the, the, the Arizona Cardinals are going to bounce back and be a pretty solid team. So, and then you have a bye. So going into November, worst case, you are one and six. Best case, you are four and three. November at New York to play the Giants. Best case, worst case, I say you lose against the New York Giants. I think the New York Giants have a solid chance to win the NFC East. They're going to be in competition with the Eagles and especially the Dallas Cowboys. November 12th, home against the Houston Texans. I'm not big on the Texans. The Texans got lucky a lot last year, in my opinion. So I say best case, worst case, you actually beat the Texans in Los Angeles. If it was at Houston, then I could, you know, worst case, I could see you losing against the Texans. But I'm not big on the Texans. I have a lot of question marks about them. At Minnesota, best case, worst case, I say you actually beat the Minnesota Vikings. And then November 26th, Saints at home, I say best case, worst case, you win that game as well. Because the New Orleans Saints are just, they're not good on defense at all. And when you get them outside of that dome, they're even worse. So worst case scenario going into December, you're four and seven. Best case scenario, you are seven and four. Now December going down the stretch here at Arizona. Best case, worst case, I say you lose that game. Home against the Philadelphia Eagles on December 10th. Once again, best case, worst case, I say you lose to the Eagles. I think the Eagles are potentially a wild card team. December 17th at Seattle, I say you lose that game. It's extremely hard to play in Seattle with all that noise. December 24th at Tennessee to play the Tennessee Titans. Best case, worst case, I say you lose against the Titans. And then December 31st, home against the San Francisco 49ers, I say you Beat best case, worst case, you beat the San Francisco 49ers. So, December is probably the Rams' hardest month out there just looking because you got at Arizona, Eagles at home, at Seattle, at Tennessee, and then home against the 49ers. So, that's not good if for some reason the Rams get out to a really hot start and they start to cool off. December is just brutal to try to get to a. Uh, to try to achieve a wild card spot because I don't see how the NFC West is going to be available for the Rams. So worst case scenario, I see the Rams going five and eleven. Best case scenario, I see the Rams going eight and eight. My final prediction is actually the worst case scenario, five and eleven. I think the Rams got good chances at W's against the 49ers both times. Saints at home, Jaguars, upset potential with the Colts, the Redskins, the Texans. I just don't see a, a lot of win here against, well, Seattle twice. You got the Titans at Tennessee. The Cardinals are going to be tough. The Eagles are going to be tough. The Giants are going to be tough. The, possibly, who knows about the Vikings and the Texans. They really, I go back and forth with them. The Cowboys is going to be a really tough game so there's a lot of question marks here and with the, the roster that the Rams have together I just Jared Jared Goff is really going to have to step up for the Rams to to be a 8-8 eight eight team to be close to a wild card spot and I just don't see it happening I'm not really big on Jared Goff but I do believe that the Rams are definitely going to improve on what they did last year. It should be a lot easier to watch the Los Angeles Rams this season than it was last season. So anyway, my name is Corey Foister. Once again, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Corey Foister. Follow on social media. That is Twitter at Winstreak News, Facebook.com slash The Winstreak, TheWinstreak.com. Leave a review and subscribe on the podcast platform you're listening on. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is Soaring Jet Production. If you're listening on YouTube, please drop a comment. Let me know what do you think the Rams are going to do this year. What do you think their record is going to be? Uh, contact us at either SoaringJetProductions at gmail.com or thewinstreak.com slash contact us. Join our Fantasy Football League and find out more information about that on our social media page. 
top 10 Super Bowls we want to see is now available. And I am doing previews of all 32 teams. This is the 10th one I have done. So please stay tuned for all 32 teams. Until next time, keep winning, everybody.